Picture this, it's a cozy evening, the scent of buttered popcorn fills the air, and you find yourself nestled into a plush seat at your local cinema. The year is 1954, and the silver screen before you flickers to life with the promise of an unforgettable story. The title card appears, A Star is Born. For many, this was their first encounter with the timeless classic, a tale of dreams and love that transcends generations. As you watch Judy Garland and James Mason light up the screen, you couldn't help but be swept away by the mesmerizing world of Hollywood. The film's poignant moments, the soaring music, and the raw emotions left an indelible mark on your heart. Perhaps it was that unforgettable performance of the man that got away, or the bittersweet climax that still lingers in your memory. A Star is Born wasn't just a movie, it was an experience, a journey that mirrored the highs and lows of life itself. Now, let's rewind and delve into some fascinating, lesser-known facts about this cinematic gem. Get ready to uncover the hidden gems and trivia that make A Star is Born a true masterpiece. In 1954, the movie A Star is Born brought drama and turmoil both on and off the screen. Here are some random facts about this iconic film, lengthy filming. The production of A Star is Born in 1954 was no quick affair. In fact, it took a staggering 10 months to complete, making it one of the longer shoots in Hollywood history. Financial woes, the film's box office failure had severe consequences for its stars, Judy Garland and Sidney Luft. Jack and Harry M. Warner had advanced money to Luft against his share of the profits. When they didn't see their investments returned from ticket sales, they took legal action, suing Luft to recover their money. This financial fallout resulted in the cancellation of the Luft's contract with Warner Bros. for future film projects. Opening scene, the movie's train sequence, where Esther waves a handkerchief out of a train window, was the first scene to be shot. This memorable scene, reminiscent of Anna Karenina, set the stage for the emotional journey that followed. Intriguingly, these facts offer a glimpse into the challenges and complexities surrounding the making of A Star is Born in 1954, showcasing the highs and lows of both the production and the lives of its stars. In 1954, the movie A Star is Born made waves in the entertainment world. Here are some intriguing facts about this classic film. Soundtrack Evolution, the initial Columbia Records soundtrack LP of A Star Is Born reached the fourth spot on Billboard's popular albums chart. Over time, Sony released two improved versions of the soundtrack. In 1988, a CD version and mostly true stereo hit the shelves. Then, in 2004, a deluxe package emerged, featuring a previously unused rendition of It's a New World by Judy Garland the Trinidad Coconut Oil Shampoo commercial, the discarded chorus of When My Sugar Walks Down the Street, the full orchestral introduction to Gotta Have Me Go With You, and the complete orchestral introduction to The Man That Got Away, among other musical delights. Ray Heindorf's Oscar-nominated background score, with some unreleased portions, also graced this package. Cary Grant's change of heart. Initially, Cary Grant accepted the role of Norman Maine in A Star Is Born. However, he later backed out, citing semi-retirement as his reason. After his passing, it was revealed that Grant's decision was influenced by Judy Garland's struggles with drug addiction, which gave him second thoughts about the film. Repurposed set, the set for the musical number Lose That Long Face was ingeniously crafted by repurposing New Orleans building facades left over from the 1951 film A Streetcar Named Desire. These facades were spray-painted white to create the backdrop for this memorable scene. These facts shed light on the film's soundtrack evolution, Cary Grant's role reversal, and the resourceful set design in A Star is Born from 1954. It's a testament to the enduring impact and behind-the-scenes stories of this classic movie. In 1954, the movie A Star is Born made its mark in Hollywood history. Here are some intriguing facts about this classic film, Judy Garland's Triumph. During the movie's first preview, Judy Garland's performance was met with resounding applause from the audience. Fans even shouted, don't cut a single minute of it. The second preview, held on August 3rd, was equally successful. At this point, the film ran for a lengthy 196 minutes, a testament to Garland's captivating portrayal. Real-life parallels, A Star is Born featured ironic parallels to the real lives of its two leads. Norman Maine, played by James Mason, is a has-been actor who grapples with substance abuse. Interestingly, James Mason continued to work steadily until his death, a stark contrast to his character. 
In contrast, Judy Garland, who played Esther Blodgett, had experienced a career downturn, mirroring her character's struggles. Garland also faced Oscar Knight disappointment when she lost to Grace Kelly. Notably, Mason, much like his character, mentored another actor, Sam Neill, into a successful career. Judy Garland's souvenir. After the filming concluded, Judy Garland couldn't resist taking a piece of the movie with her. She pilfered some furniture from the film sets and brought it to her own home. However, this thievery didn't go unnoticed. Producer Jack L. Warner discovered Garland's souvenirs when she invited him over after the film's premiere. These fascinating tidbits shed light on the triumph ironies, and even a touch of larceny associated with the 1954 movie A Star is Born. It remains a timeless classic, etching its place in cinematic history. In 1954, the movie A Star is Born faced its fair share of challenges during production. One major setback was technical in nature. The film initially started shooting in Warner Scope, a widescreen process developed by Warner Bros. to compete with CinemaScope. However, the process wasn't up to snuff, and Albert Warner, overseeing the studio's technical aspects, pushed for a switch to CinemaScope after two weeks of filming. They had to reshoot the man that got away number in both Warner Scope and CinemaScope to compare, and it became clear that CinemaScope was superior. This decision cost the production a hefty $300,000, and they had to redo parts of the film to adapt to the new screen size, causing an 18-day delay. Judy Garland, the film's star, also added to the production's woes. She initially behaved well but soon faced health and creative issues. She called in sick multiple times, delaying shooting for several days. Costume dissatisfaction and fatigue forced her to leave early on occasion. By February, they were a staggering 41 days behind schedule. In late March, Garland took a two-week break to detox from prescription medications. This prolonged the production to a grueling nine months. Before its premiere, director George Cukor trimmed the film down to 181 minutes, cutting out several scenes, including parts of the Bourne and the Trunk number, Norman's quest to learn Esther's name, scenes of Norman Maine's previous roles, and more. Sadly, some of this removed footage remains lost to this day. The making of A Star is Born in 1954 was a roller coaster ride marked by technical hiccups, health issues, and editing decisions that altered the film's final cut. Despite these challenges, the movie remains a classic in Hollywood's history. In the 1954 movie A Star is Born, several notable actors were considered for the role of Norman Maine. One of them was Lawrence Olivier, but Jack L. Warner, the producer, wasn't too keen on casting him. Another actor in consideration was Frank Sinatra. However, Sinatra was deemed box office poison at the time, meaning his recent films hadn't performed well at the box office. Despite this, Judy Garland and her husband were interested in having him in the film. Stuart Granger was also a frontrunner for the role of Norman Maine for a period. However, he backed out when he couldn't adjust to George Cukor's habit of acting out scenes as a form of direction. These casting decisions and changes shed light on the complex process of assembling the cast for this iconic movie. It's fascinating how different actors were considered and how the final choice influenced the film's outcome. In 1954, the movie A Star Is Born made its mark in Hollywood history. Here are some intriguing facts about this classic film, Judy Garland's Radio Prelude. Before starring in the 1954 movie, Judy Garland had a taste of the role as Vicki Lester, Esther Blodgett in a radio adaptation. At just 20 years old, she took on the character in a Lux Radio Theater broadcast on December 28, 1942. Interestingly, this adaptation didn't include the film's iconic songs and featured Walter Pigeon as Norman Maine alongside Garland. George Cukor's directorial precision, director George Cukor was known for his meticulous approach to capturing emotions on film. During Judy Garland's emotionally charged breakdown scene in Esther's dressing room, he pushed her to the brink. Garland was so overwhelmed that she vomited before the first take. Cukor's commitment to perfection led to multiple retakes until he achieved the desired result. However, he balanced this intensity with humor, consoling Garland after the final take by telling her, Judy, Marjorie Maine couldn't have done that any better. A missing role, Amanda Blake's name is still listed in the credits of A Star Is Born. However, her role mysteriously disappeared after the film's premiere. 
The reason behind this vanishing act was the decision to cut certain sequences from the movie to shorten its running time. Unfortunately for Blake, her character fell victim to this editing process. These intriguing tidbits offer a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes happenings of A Star is Born, showcasing the dedication of its cast and crew in bringing the cinematic masterpiece to life. 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 As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the timeless masterpiece that is A Star is Born, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this film has had on your own life. This classic tale of love, ambition, and the ever-evolving nature of fame has touched the hearts of generations, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Perhaps you've found yourself humming along to the haunting melodies of Judy Garland or swooning under the charismatic spell of James Mason. Maybe this film has served as a poignant reminder of the fragility of dreams or a testament to the enduring power of love. Whatever your personal connection to A Star is Born, we'd love to hear from you. Share your cherished memories, your most profound thoughts, or the moments that still resonate with you today. Let's celebrate the magic of this cinematic gem together. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey down memory lane, and for sharing your thoughts and reflections. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of this cinematic experience. Until next time, keep those stars in your eyes and dreams in your heart. Warmest regards. Regards. Regards.